in your souls there's better ways to spend your days than working down the hole I was all and true all a six foot two but they broke me across the back by a name I'm known and it's not my own they call me Crooked Jack I had the gangers blue white boy was I big Jack could do no wrong and the reason simply was because I worked both hard and long I was all and true all a six foot two but they broke me across the back by a name I'm known and it's not my own they call me Crooked Jack I was all and true all a six foot two but they broke me across the back by a name I'm known and it's not my own they call me Crooked Jack The day that I went away to work on the hydro dams For swelling tears, open beers bound up in sugar and jams I was all and true while the six foot two And they broke me across the back By a name I'm known and it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack I was all and true while the six foot two But they broke me across the back By a name I'm known and it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack They say that honest toil is good for the spirit and the soul But believe me, boys, it's for sweat and blood They watch you down the hole I was all and true, all a six foot two But they broke me across the back By a name I know, and it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack I was all and true, all a six foot two But they broke me across the back By a name I know, and it's not my own So, oh, so, oh, so, oh, the 
Irish lady from Ireland came A beautiful lady called Sarah by name Her riches were more than a king could possess Her beauty was more than Her wealth at its best A charming young gentleman courting her king Courting this lady called Sarah by name Oh Sarah, oh Sarah, oh Sarah, says he I'm afraid that my ruin forever you I'm afraid that my ruin forever you'll prove Unless you turn all of your hatred to love No hatred to you nor to no other man But this for to love you Is more than I can Sorrows and drop your discourse 
I never will have you unless I am forced. Six months appeared and five years had passed when I heard of this lady's misfortune at last. Sent for this young man whom she had denied. Then am I your doctor and am I your cure? Am I your protector that you sent for me here? Yes, you are my doctor. You are my cure. Without your protection, I'll die. I am sure. Oh, Sarah, oh, Sarah, oh, Sarah, says he. Don't you remember when I first courted thee? I asked you in kindness. You answered in scorn. I'll never forgive you for times past and gone. Times past and gone, I hope you forgive and grant me some longer in comfort to live. I'll never forgive you as long as I live. I'll dance on your grave, love, when you're laid in the ground. Then off of her fingers, gold ring, she pulled three, saying, take them and wear them when you're dancing on
with a young woman walking and wrapped around a baby a shawl and she speaks of the passing of wings to the uniform soldiers the price of the ribbon their fortune to speak well their fortune she speaks and she speaks of a river whose silvery barrels and moorlands beneath where a gun battle raged and the hero for Ireland would soon lie down dead, dead at her feet. At the feet of the Virgin in the grotto of Anna, she sings to her baby in those dyers bequeath. And she lives and laments, and it chants all in hearing the songs of her people and melody sweet. Young darling, love me. She's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny. Shall I gaze on her fair face no more? I've roamed through the world and seen many, but there's none like my Eileen's soul. I remember the first time I met her. And I thought that her heart I'd pursue And no man could have felt any better When she swore she would always be true She's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny Shall I gaze on her fair face no more? I've roamed through the world and seen many But there's none like my Eileen Thor When she left me, she gave me a token And that was an outburst of tears And the words that were generally spoken They remained in my memory for years She's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny Shall I gaze on her fair face no more? I've rolled through the world and seen many but there's not like my Eileen soul. For this was the last of the tokens That she gave with a fond loving will And the words that were generally spoken They remain in my memory still She's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny Shall I gaze on a fair face no more? I've roamed through the world and seen many, but there's none like my Eileen's soul. 
she's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny. Shall I gaze on her fair face no more? I've roamed through the world and seen many, but there's none like my Eileen a soul. She's the beautiful flower of Kilkenny. Shall I gaze on her fair face?
from Clifton's rocky shore or the broad Atlantic sea the battalion of St. Patrick tired of harsh brutality no more of you or bigotry their angry cry wholehearted near Matamora's lives were lost and that's when the fighting started who were those men what was the crime for which their lives were wasted did they rob or rape or was their fate as the poet once related those great gales of Ireland the men that God made mad their wars were never merry but all their songs were sad land of the free men liberty to the U.S. Army's Irish Till James K. Polk He sent them south To civilize the Spanish In a war to extend slavery And unjust exploitation They'd not repeat what Cromwell did To their poor Irish nation Who were those men? What was the crime? For which their lives were wasted Did they rob or rape Or was their fate As the poets once related With those great gales of Ireland The men that God made mad Their wars were never merry But all their songs were sad At Langostura, Irish blood drenched the sun-baked clay And Mexico still honours those brave men who die that day But the worst was yet to come in the hour that war was ended When General Scott hung the Irish men to celebrate with vengeance Which their lives were wasted Did they rob or rape Or was their fate As the poet once related Those great games of Ireland The men that God made man
Patrick was a gentleman, he came from decent people. He built a church in Dublin town and on it put a steeple. His father was a Gallagher, his uncle was a Grady. His aunt was an O'Shaughnessy, and his mother was a Brady. The Wicklow hills are very high, so is the hill of Hot, sir. But there's a hill much higher still, much higher than the boat, sir. Twas on the top of this high hill St. Patrick preached a sermon. He drove the frogs into the box and, and banished all. Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever. Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever. Not a mile in Ireland's isle with a dirty vermin muster. But there he put his dear four foot and he burped them in clusters. The toad went hop, the frog went hop, slap dash into the water. The snakes committed suicide to save themselves from slaughter. A hundred thousand reptiles blew, he charmed with sweet discourses. And dined them in Killaloo, in soups and second courses. When blind worms crawling in the grass disgusted all the nation. Break down the hill with a holy spell, he changed their sin. Situation. Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever. Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever. Wonder that the Irish boy should be so gay and frisky. Sure said that he caught them that as well as Mac and whiskey. No wonder that the saint himself should understand the stilling. For his mother kept the sheaving shop near the town of Enniskillen. Was I but so fortunate to be back in Ulster? I'd be bound that from the ground I never more would one star. For dear St. Patrick planted turf and cabbages and varieties. Pigs galore and grandma star, altar boys and ladies. Woo! Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever. Farewell to St. Patrick's first, he was a saint so clever. He gave the snakes an awful twist and banished them forever.
As we wander through the universe on this dark winter's night, the children they're all dancing on the stars is shining bright. One more word must now be spoken out, sung to an old tune. Let's be friends this new year coming at the rising of the moon. As we gaze into the stars that shine with wonder in our eyes, will we just destroy the planet or is peace to be the prize? Cause the wheel of fighting nations tends the beauty of the tune. Let's all dance the dance of freedom at the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon. Let's be friends this new year coming at the rising of the moon. May the wisdom of the ancients with their messages and signs come shine on our tomorrow with the magic of the time. Like the star that shone on the wise men like the dawn that's coming soon The truth will guide us onwards At the rising of the moon We can live within God's garden If we tend it with our care We can understand the meaning The motives of the fair Though we stumble through the darkness Trying far too much too soon Let's all stand up and be counted At the rising of the moon At the rising of the moon At the rising of the moon The truth Adventure in your souls There's better ways to spend your days Than working down the hole I was all and true All a six foot two But they broke me across the back By a name I'm known And it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack I had the gangers blue white boy Was I big Jack could do no wrong And the reason simply was Because I worked both hard and long I was all and true all the six foot two with the broke me across the back By a name I'm known and it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack I was all and true all the six foot two with the broke me across the back By a name I'm known and it's not my own They call me Crooked Jack He 
stepped in. Well, he sat down, and I sat beside him. I let our troubles they did begin. In the year of one thousand seven hundred and ninety-eight, sorrowful tale of the truth unto you I'll relate. Thirty-six heroes to the world they were left to be seen. By a false information, they were shot under the lemon green. 
But look to your sounders, for you did their lives betray. You said a parade would be held on that very same day. Drums they did rattle, and our fives they did sweetly play. Surrounded we were, and privately marched away. Quite easy they led us like prisoners through the town. To be shot on the plain, we first were forced to kneel down. Such grief and such sorrow were never before they were seen. When the blood ran in streams down the dikes of Dunlap and Green, there is a young Marty Farrell who has plenty of cause to complain. Likewise, the two Duffies who were shot down upon the plain. Young Andy Bryan, his mother distracted with.
There's many the child in cold death lay the parents hate in mourn while the landlord's agents pull down our roofs in Lemur's love we My love.